Big big mom just kill her son? Over a crab cake, croissant, whatever. Episode 798 of One Piece. He told that boy to stay out of her way. He's like, no, she's gonna destroy the castle. Somebody gotta stop her. She took his life. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know if he's really dead because y'all know how One Piece get down. She might've just took 40 years of his life, but she said four years. He hit that ground, they said he was murdered. She does not like to not get her food on time. That was absolutely terrifying. Here I was talking about, I would love to live there. No, not that she gonna be going on rampages, breaking buildings, cause she need a croissant. Jinbei popped up and at first I was like, do not be an op, please. So much has changed, but it seems like he's not. Seems like he's gonna be helpful, so that's good. I did forget that Big Ma still owns the island that he's from. So there's definitely still some connections there. Her island is a very interesting place. The water made of lemonade and orange juice. The sea creatures are fish, but they're like pumpkins and tomatoes. Well, no, nah, only, only sweet stuff, cause she don't play that. She means business. So I'm actually very curious to see how things are gonna play out with her and also with the other emperor that's mad at them. <laughs> but he just happens to be in Wano. It's like, you only got your own territory like Big Mom. She doing it big. Somehow she didn't figure out how to change the clouds into cotton candy. But I mean, if she did end up killing her son, I guess she got about 75 of them. So I guess she don't care. I'm still shocked she got all them kids. Have y'all seen her? Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Jim Bag gave Big Ma that pony glyph. I don't give a deal what agreement y'all got. Why would you give that to that lady? What fucking lady? <laughs> if you get the reference, you understand. But why would he do that? Like you're not using your noggin. She can't read it, but still. 